Hey there Clashers, welcome back. Willie here and tonight I want to take a look at some Town Hall 13 hybrid attacks. So hybrid has been really strong basically since Town Hall 13 started and I've been seeing it quite a bit here lately. Uh, Tribe just smashed some clans with it in their competitive wars. So we're going to take a look at some of the hybrid attacks we did in this clan war league. And if you watched my clan war league recap, these are all different attacks that I didn't have in that video. So nothing will be repeated. Uh, with that all being said, let's jump right on in. So the first attack we're going to take a look at here is from Martin. And when you're doing a hybrid attack, probably the most important thing is getting the funnel established. So you want to set up pathing for your hybrid that's going to be as narrow as you can make it. And you definitely want it to be predictable. You don't want your hybrid splitting up, going off in crazy directions. You also want to make sure you can keep it inside the base as much as possible. So starting off with the queen charge down here gets the rage spell. Queen's going to be going into a lot of firepower there, but she is going to be able to push through as long as the rage spells keep coming to keep her alive. She does step up, get the CC lord there. That's probably the next most important thing is getting the CC dealt with. You don't want your uh, hall graders going out too far ahead because your miners are stuck on ice golems. But you also don't want something like a Valkyrie coming out, destroying your whole army. Same thing with basically any air troop. The RC in the middle can only handle so much. So the Queen's getting this all cleared out. Send in a couple Hall Riders to take down this Archer Tower, and the Wizard's going to finish up the funnel on that side. Sends in a Wall Breaker, so a great Wall Break there. Super Wall Breaker opens up the Town Hall for the Queen. She can actually reach it from the inside there, but still nicely played there. The King came in down here, and this whole side of the base is funneled out very nicely. So on the top side, on the other side of where the hybrid's going in, we have the Siege Barracks that's finishing up the funnel and creating that narrow pathing that we want to see for the hybrid. And this is basically the same thing if you're going with just Hall Graders or just Miners, but you have to consider basically what they're going to be taking on inside the base. But for the hybrid, it doesn't matter too much. He does use the Warden ability there. That gets them through the early scatter shot. And now we have Hall Graders coming in from the Siege Barracks. And then the RC is up there to help get those buildings taken down. And that's gonna keep this group of hogs and miners all together. He can get everything right there with that heal spell. So that was a great heal there. He gets everything in it because he had the pathing and he knows where the whole army is going to come together at. He also had the healer swap off of the queen. Looks like the queen did go down, but he's got a ton of hogs and miners still left on the base and they're working through. They do have that splash damage to get through. It looks like the hog riders did go down, but he's got that RC there and she's going to be able to get through that Inferno Tower and finish up the defenses. So uh, miners working around the outside. This base is basically just clean up at this point and a great triple from Martin. All right, we do have Martin coming in on another replay. And while uh, pathing and funneling are incredibly important, you also wanna consider what value you're getting on the entry. So Queen Charge is pretty much always used. I've never seen a Sui Hero uh, hybrid attack, but I'm sure it's possible on certain bases. But like I said, the Queen Charge is pretty much always used. You want to get as much value with her as possible. And as we'll see in some of the uh, next attacks, a lot of people like to also use the Yeti Bomb with the hybrid. So that's something I like to use myself. But with these first couple of attacks, the Siege Barracks is used. The Queen gets... A lot of value on her entry so he's able to use the siege barracks to help with the uh, funneling and pathing portion instead so the queen as you can see here she's charging in she's going to get the town hall down very easily gets the cc lured on her own and she's going to get the cc taken down once that's done he did get the wall breaker in there so a deep wall break the super wall breakers make things tremendously easier like i've mentioned before and within this compartment she's going to be able to reach the eagle and the enemy queen so just great value here, not to mention the wizard towers. The uh, warden statue is not really a big deal with hybrid, but getting that splash damage down is definitely a big part of it. So she's working through that expo. The expos do a lot of damage for the hybrid, even though they're point defense, they just work so quickly it becomes an issue for the, ho the hybrid hogs and miners. So the eagle is down now. The king over here is finishing up the funnel, and now the miners are coming in. Usually the miners do come in first, and they start working through the first layer of buildings. Then you see the Warden, and then you see the Hall Graders behind him. So here come the Hall Graders. They're all going to start grouping up over here. He does need a heal spell over there. He uses the Warden ability instead. Uh, try not to pair your Warden ability with a heal spell. 
because it's uh, kind of pointless. So he used the Warden ability there, and then he can use the Heal spell as they go into the second scatter shot over here. So they're working through all these buildings over here. The King is down, and he's got the Siege Barracks down behind where the King was. And they're going to drop more Hogs into the field here shortly. So the Wizards are coming in. I'm not sure where the Pekka's at. It may have also gone down. But you can see here, with the path thing and the funneling he had, everything's grouped up. He can use those Heal spells hit that whole army at once. He is out of heal spells at this point, but you can see he did drop one there. And now he's got the single Inferno to deal with. The Queen is up here. She's going to go down to that Tesla because she lost the healers to the Hyrid, but that's fine. And if you can get your Queen to last this long in the raid, uh, chances are things are going pretty well because the Queen can get a lot more value as she continues to work as the Hybrid moves through. But nothing really left in terms of splash defense the healers are on the rc so she's going to stay alive for the rest of the raid he's got a lot of miners left it looks like uh no oh yeah he does have a bunch of hog riders as well so this base was definitely smashed with hybrid all right so here we have a ring base and this is a strategy you can uh, use on pretty much any ring base and we'll see the queen charge coming in from the corner so she can access the the CC troops and she'll be able to work towards the eagle unless she were to go the other way but with these uh, fairly symmetrical bases either way the queen goes you can work your way in so he does have the super wall breakers there's the first one going to get that corner opened up sending in some baby dragons to help funnel get the queen in the right direction so the king coming in over here actually lures the CC. The king is going to take out the ice golem. He's going to drop in a couple of wizards, get the hound popped and taken out. The next super wall breaker is coming in, going to get the next corner opened up so the queen can work in and get that single inferno taken down. So she's working through those storages. The wizards are getting that hound taken down and the king's got the ice golem taken care of. He did have to freeze up the inferno tower, of course, and then drop in that rage spell. Now the queen can work in. She's actually distracted a little bit on the pups, so he drops that second free spell on the Inferno Tower. But now that she's not quite as distracted, she can move in and get that taken down. So a couple more pups, and there she goes, finally getting that ring broken off. So she'll work through that Archer Tower. There's the Rage Spell taking down the Inferno Tower. And then once you get the uh, ring broken off like that, whichever way the queen goes, you want to send the hybrid with her. So... The queen's going to go to the left once she gets the uh, eagle down, finds the tornado trap, but here comes the hybrid traveling with the queen around the ring. And then the warden, of course, goes in with the hybrid as well as the RC, but you can drop the RC kind of like he did, a little bit offset. Everything's going to start working together here. There's the heal spell, getting that scatter shot taken down. And then what you want to do with the uh, siege barracks, or not the siege barracks here, but you're going to use a blimp. You can send it like he did, but usually people drop it through the... Uh, Grand Warden's ability and then hit his ability just as the blimp is getting towards the town hall. That way if there were a couple of black air mines in here somewhere it doesn't take the blimp down before it gets to the town hall. And in the blimp you can actually take just three sneaky goblins and the rest the other two yetis and that'll be enough to take down the town hall plus the yetis will survive the town hall blast and then they can possibly work through that wall help get a few other things taken down. And that one, I think he had hall graders, but the hall graders kind of get smoked by the town hall right away, so it doesn't really help much. But they do help kind of take down the town hall, even though the goblins are able to do that on their own. But, as you can see, everything's working together here, getting this base finished up, and makes a very easy work of the ring bases with hybrid. Okay, for the last replay here, we've got Queen Bee coming in. This will be another Yeti Bomb. Not quite the same, though, because obviously this isn't a ring base. So the Yeti Bomb is coming in early, and it's going to get the value early. So it's going in for this Inferno Tower and Scatter Shot. And she's going to use a Rage Spell as well to help get some more value. So not only are they clearing out that compartment, but they're getting a bunch of buildings around the outside of that compartment as well. So the Wizard's coming in. That's going to help funnel the Queen. And she's going to go in towards the Town Hall. So there's a baby dragon and a balloon over here. That's going to help push the queen in towards the town hall. And of course, we're going to see the super wall breakers come into play again on this one. So poison down to help take down the ice golems. She's going to work through those. The poison does help uh, make that a little bit quicker process there. But it's still fairly slow getting through those three ice golems. 
So there she goes, the last ice golem to go. And then she can start working in. So there she is. And then we'll see the super wall breakers come down here shortly, as well as the first of the rage spells. So there's the first super wall breaker. Second one comes in right behind it, and that's going to open up this whole area over here. So there we go. That area is all opened up, and then the rage spell comes down for the queen as she can start working in. She is going to have to take down the enemy king. Not going to be a big deal. She does have uh, quite a bit of fire coming down. She's got the two expos, but she's going to get one of those taken down, step up, and then she'll be able to take down the second one. So there she goes, getting through that storage first. And then the king we're going to see come down over here. There he is, and he's going to work on taking out all these buildings. Unfortunately, the Teslas are there as well, and that's going to slow him down just a little bit before he can get that funnel set. And then wasting no time, the queen is on the town hall now, but the miners are coming in over here with the RC and the warden. And then the queen, she gets the town hall taken down. She's going to step up and take down the enemy queen as well. So there are the hog riders to pair up with the miners in there. The pathing here is not the greatest, but it is going to work out. The scatter shot is firing onto this big group here. So we see the warden's ability being used there. And they're going to need to step up, get that taken down if they want to continue to push through. So the RC is going to help get that taken down. There's the heal spell to help keep everything alive right there. And now the eagle is down, the uh, scatter shots are both down, and there's not a whole lot left. It looks like all the hog riders are gone, but it's not going to be a problem. RC is going to hit her ability. Miners and the RC are getting stuck on those skellies there, so the RC does go down. The Inferno Tower takes her out. But the only thing left for splash damage is one wizard tower. A couple of cannons and archer towers left. Not going to be a problem for the uh, group of miners that's left. So this is going to be a triple for WHF Rising. So if hybrid is an attack you're trying to work on, whether it's uh, Town Hall 12 or Town Hall 13, I believe it also might work at Town Hall 11, but I'm not really in tune with the Town Hall 11 anymore. But anyway, if you're trying to learn this attack, the principles are the same all the way across. And just basically look for how you can get the pathing right, and look for what value you can get with your queen charge, and then try to figure out if it's worth it to bring the Yeti Bomb. You don't always have to rage the Yeti Bomb either, so if you can save a rage, that also helps significantly. And basically it just comes down to practice like anything else. But if you can get to where you're getting the pathing down, if you're getting the funneling down, this attack's going to come pretty easily. And if you're getting good value with your queen charge, the rest of the attack is really easy. So that's what I have for hybrid at Town Hall 13. Hope you guys like it. Hope it helps. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked it, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more, click that subscribe button. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll see you all next time.